Hello everybody! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Because so many of you have asked, I'm finally taking you to Rest House Tour. So everybody, welcome to the River Garden. been here in Kalumpit, Bulacan, if I'm not mistaken, for over 23 years, older than Claudia. The reason why I am sharing this rest house with all of you is because little by little I am sharing a little bit of my private life with all of you. I'm sharing this special place with all of you because this is where the kids grew up. We have so much memories here. We've shared several photos, but I know you're curious to see how it is. Okay, so here now, we are entering into the pavilion. It's really a small property. Please don't be <laughs> fooled. It's a very simple property. I just really made the most out of it. Sa hilig ko po sa bahay, dahil mahilig po ako mag-interior, mag-ayos-ayos, little by little, napuno naman namin to with all of my old stuff. So this is what we would call the pavilion. Usually, this would be a perfect place for a party. As a matter of fact, River Garden, is now open for private rentals. By the time you see this vlog, we are inviting families to come together or good friends, um, just a small group of 15 people at a time. This is where I gather with my kids for a mess hall. Kainan, kumbaga. This is our little sala. Simple lang ang bahay namin, ha? This one was a gift to me some 10 years ago. Of course, I love everything that looks old. I like some antique cooking. And then we put some propanos that I have bought from my travels. And this also used to be my coffee table in my home. So, para nagsi switch switch ng yan. This one is my altar table. This came from my mom. This is very antique, as you see. So, my mom has passed on to me a lot of her furniture because we share the same passion for home. So it's an altar table. And then we had this also for a very, very long time. Kailangan lang siyang spruce up every so often by adding plants. I just love the water feature. Yung kumakain kami dito ng lunch or merienda. Inaantok-antok ka dahil narinig mo yung tubig. This one also is a marble dining table. Okay, so alam ko talaga ng old soul ako. Dahil napakahilig ko talaga sa furniture ng so I've always had a fondness for marble tables and this one was a gift like 12-13 years ago. It was bought in Jolisa so it's really an antique and actually maganda yung paan na rin. So what I did with this is it was normally like a buffet table. Kasi pag kami ng mga anak ko, marami na kami. Pero pag andito na yung mga pamangkin ko, yung mga kapatid ko, ah, marami na kami. We can do up to 20 people at a time. And then, we have a little dining table here. Pero pag marami na, nagdadagdag ka kami ng long table. Pati kami dito. So some of the people love having breakfast here. And others by the river. Kaya nga river garden. Kasi may ilog tayo dyan sa Nicaragua. So for those who like to have breakfast here, we have a little area for them. And then of course, we can go in for the breakfast food here. And then, antique cabinet that we also got at Jolie's before. And then I like those mga ice cream. Yung halalagay ng ice cream, pang halo-halo. So please take a look at our pavilion. So I just love the Philippine touch here. Yung pagka Filipino natin. Filipino touch. So, pawid po ito. You can find up there. Most of my mga bobong dito talagang pawid na. Dati ang tawag namin talaga dito, ilog. Pag sinabi, punta tayo sa ilog, ito yon. Pinalitan ko lang ng river garden. I cannot imagine ilog looking any different than this. Kailangan talaga yung touch niya Filipino pa. And if you see, we have a lot of bamboo features. Which means, Grabe rin ang maintenance dito. <laughs> Kailan hindi mabukbok sa dito. Okay, this is the original structure 
here at Ilog, it was like the first. It's gone through a lot of face lift. So still, again, yun ang pavilion. So parang mini pavilion, pero tawag ko dito, gazebo. Okay, so here is where most naman of yung mga pamangkin kong malalaki na yung matatanda na like to hang out in dito ang Google Fights. If I have vlogged it, I have shared many photos. Dito ang aming Google Fight. Pinapalitan lang namin yung table namin ng mga monoblock para hindi malagyan ng foil. This wooden table here because I wanted to parang make it cozier. Hindi ba? Because since I've opened this already to the public, I mean to private rentals, I wanted to make everyone who comes here feel parang nandunin sila sa kanilang mga bahay o umuwi sila sa kanilang mga probinsya. So we changed the flooring to something more colorful. Talaga nung umpisa, vegan tiles lamang po ito. Pero ngayon, I just put more color. The jars that have come from my mom. And of course, we have little touches here and there. So this one would really be a place for... Actually, kanina, dito kami nag-lunch. Ako naman, I prefer having breakfast here. Simple. It's very... Simple lang, simple lang siya. I just also uh, made pagawa yung nabibili ng sofa. Yung mga ganito, itong bamboo, okay? So, nagpagawa. Ito, nabibili na to pala. Okay, di ba may nabibiling gawa na dito, di ba? By the, by the street, di ba? Papunta dito. Ito, pinadakihan ko lang siya ng konti. Tapos, pinagawan ko ng upholstery. Pinagawan ko ng yellows to make it happy. And iba-ibang mga throw pillow na tela para lang masaya. And this is our favorite area. Early in the morning, or sunset. Because if you see, we have a view of the Ilog. Look at the Ilog. I think what makes this property really special is that ito yung tinitignan mo. And baka ririnig mo yung motor ng mga fisherman padaan-daan. Tapos sasabihin mo, balik kayo pag may isda na kayo. Tapos babalik sila dito. Minsan madaling araw, nandito kami nag-uusap, nagkikwentuhan. Dumarating na yung mga manging isda. May dalang mga fresh na isda. Binibili namin by the cooler. Diba parang it's so special? Kapag sunset, sobrang hangin dito. At dito ka nakakain ng turon, banana queue, at lahat. Ito ay aming binabaliktad. Nabaliktad namin yung bamboo na sofa para facing the river kami. It's fantastic. And our kitchen is right here. If you see, pawid rin po siya. At malapit ko ng kailangan. Palit, palitan siya. I love this kitchen because it's open. So, when the family is here, this is a perfect area. We have a big freezer because pag nandito kami, ang dami namin dalang mga meat, fish, seafood, whatever. And then, dito lahat ng tao, nagkikuntuhan, nagluluto. And I've kept it open. I have kept it like Pinoy na Pinoy. Ito bago nga to eh. Because this was really an open shelf. Pero kitang kita, pero dito lahat ng mga pang setup natin. Kasi kahit dito, mahilig ako sa setup. So, dito ang lutoan. It's pretty wide. Please don't mind the kalat. We just finished lunch. Very provincia. So, ito bago to ihawan. I've always wanted. Okay, kami talaga ng family ko. Mahilig kami sa mga ihaw-ihaw food. So, dahil sa Boodle Fight, lahat ihaw. And nafo-frustrate ako nun kasi ang liit nung ihawan namin nun. So, parang medyo mabagal ang luto kasi may isa, may talong, may limpo. So, this time, pinasadya ko na to. Exclusive for River Garden guests also. Finally, pwede ka mag puro limpo to. Isda at sya ka talong. Sabay-sabay, wala nang problema. It, this one, this area is for ide-develop pa lang. Okay. So, I'm proud to say. It's a very hot area now because it's like 12 noon. No, it's about 2 p.m. But I will develop this. This is what I would call Marjorie's Secret Garden. Ito talagang this was basura. Talagang may talahib. Itong air to sa pinagrava ko lang. Tapos pinalagyan ko ng buho. And I will develop it. I will put herbs. I will put flowers. I will put whatever. But I really want to make this a Marjorie's Secret Garden and a view deck. Meron din po dito sa Kalumpit. Ito kasi I think this is Angat River, di ba? Meron din dumadaan dito na parang yung sa Lobok River, yung merong boat 
Nang may kumakanta, kumakain, tapos nagwe-wave-wave dito yung mga tao. Originally, I wanted to make that a business. They thought it was a joke and hindi natuloy. Tapos minsan na lang nakita ko na may dumadaan ng malaking mood. Na may maraming taong kumakain, may mga musikero, at yun na po yung pangarap kong hindi natupad. Pero malay mo, one of these days. So this is the raw part of the house. I'd like to share with you this area. Tama naman itong mga halaman. Ang tagal na nito. Super. Lumaki na siya along with the kids. So, of course, when they were bought, maliliit pa lang siya. And now they're so big and they're so special to me. Walang grass na na nag-grow dito sa area na to. And it really frustrated my kids. Most especially Claudia. Kasi sobra daw dusty. Tapos pag umulan, um, maputi. So, for the love of Claudia. <laughs> and for our future guests here at River Garden, pinaganito ko na. How do you call this? We call this pavers? Yeah. Yeah, so right now, we call it the courtyard. I'm still deciding kung kanino ko ipapangalan yung courtyard, but it is now a courtyard. And the kids are so happy about it because hindi na siya maputik. Pwede ka na actually mag-party dito. And I don't have to bake bawas yung aking food. Sabi nilang lahat, magbawas ka ng puno para maggrow ang grass. Hindi. I love the shade so much. So now we have this as part of a river garden. So you have the mini gazebo, you have the view deck, and then this one. So pagka family family kayo, ang nangyayari niyan, para kayong, how do you say it, para bang retreat or recollection kasi someone is there reading a book and then someone is here with two other family members eating. Dito may mga nagla-lounge dito. Iba naman ang kwentuhan. Yung iba natutulog doon. I mean, it's just really, you know, like, talagang rest. It's a rest and a uh, place. Fun fact, nung nabili ito some 23 years ago, di siya wala pa namang pera noon, so paisa-isa itong binil. Kunyari, isang kwarto muna, isang kwarto muna. And then, nanalo ako sa pera o bayong. You know that? <laughs> that was a game. It was a game. Pero o bayong, nanalo ako, I remember, if I'm not mistaken, half a million. So, 500,000. Sobrang laki na nun. Aside from the 500,000, meron pa siyang showcase ng mga appliances, mga ganyan. So, doon sa pera na yun, na napanalunan ko sa pera o bayong, nag-down payment ako para gumawa ng pool. If I'm not mistaken, parang 550,000 yung down payment. So, there's this pool. And this has been the pool. Ever since. Ever since I attempted to retile it once, but basically, ito pa rin yung pool since they were really yeah. baby born. born. Kasi si Claudia dito nag first birthday, putik putik pa dito ng lugar kalaman si Anta don. Dahil nga sa budget restraints, imbis na nagdig pa baba, pinataas na lang yung pool. Kaya hindi siya pa baba, di ba dapat yeah. usually ang pool flat. So, but this one, and we kept it that way. I'm gonna take you to our first room. Okay, since it's called the River Garden, pinangalan namin yung rooms ng flowers. So welcome to the Bogandilia room. This will be one of the rooms that will be open. If you can see, okay, that's why there are so many queen-size beds here because nga, Julia and Claudia, Danny and Javi, yeah. or if it's may mga pamangkin, Nandito yung mga adult kung pamakyan. Or floor. And then there is a floor mattress. And then there are two people here. And this is really the fun area. So this one is really the children's area. It's called the Bogan Pinanet. Some of my paintings in Manila. Na ano, pinala ko na rin dito. Okay, so we have our toilet. Okay, then I have those shelves. I have a fascination for old wood and always having lights on their shelves. I have that thing. And so, yeah. This one is called the Gumamela Room. So, you see, totoo mga kapis, ano to, nabili to, if I'm not mistaken, sa Kamuning or Kamyas, yung mga bilihan ng mga antique-antique. So, gusto ko yung ingay ng mga bata. Alam mo kung sino na ang gising. Yes. Alam mo na kung sino yung mga maiingay. Tapos, pag nagsiswim, I want to read a book. Nakikita ko kung meron baka may nalulunod na. This is the Gumamela room. And this one, ito lahat to. These are all my furniture. So from Manila, tapos pa nagpapalit-palit lang kami. Also the paintings. This is where Eric and I and Leon sleep. Yes. So because we are a team, we were always in one room. So there, Leon has a room. I hope he does not outgrow it. 
So this is room two of our four bedroom little property. Um, our goal is to keep it simple and make it very homey for all of you. I love everything Thai, every Thailand furniture, old China furniture, the same like that. So that came from Thailand. I'm gonna talk about this mango tree. So that really is an Indian mango tree. But several years ago, na grafting from another kind of, another variation ng manga, grafting sa mga Indian mango trees nito. Pag nagbunga siya, sobrang laki. So every area, talagang pila ni man. Kaya nga siya parang river garden. Kasi everywhere may tanya. So I really love this place. So we are now on to our third room. It's the Sampagita room. This is the original, original master's yes. bedroom. This is the Ito talaga pinatayo ko to as a master's bedroom. But, nag-move na ako to the other room. But let me take you to our room. Let me open the lights. You guys will be lucky. Come in! See how I love the old charm? My floor is still vegan tile. Let me tell you a story. This is the master's bedroom. So the portraits that were given to us as gifts are here. That's me, Claudia, and Julia. They're the only ones who have air just one in her room. She refuses to let go of it. So this is her bed. And this is my side table in my home. Pinalitan ko lang yon a few months ago, so it's here now. This is also my lamp in my room in Manila. We brought it back here, and then so here, and then this one is the bed of Danny. Fun fact: when Danny, Julia, and Claudia were sharing a room, this was Danny's bed. It was also specially made at Jolisa, and it was white. Kasi shabby chic dati si yung room nila. It was white, pina chocolate brown ko, and it has pull out. So the last that slept here was Millie. This is our toilet. See, when you look at this place, it's really our home. It's really not like meant for resort purposes. Talagang bahay namin. Loved, cared for, and designed for us. Okay, so I'll take you again outside to another room. This one is the mga slide of Erich before and her mini house, but we're not letting go of it because Millie plays with that and my, how do you say it, my grandnephews, yung mga, mga anak na ng mga pamangkin ko, ng maliliit. Okay, so we are on to our fourth and last room. It's called the Sultan Room. Ito yung pinakamaliit na kwarto, pero ito yung pinaka priceless because it's the river view. <laughs> It's a tiny room, but it's not so tiny. But ito yung pinaka comfortable according to my guests. This is the river view. So pag nagshashesta sila nakikita nila yung ilog. Here are the paintings that came from my mom. Akala ng mommy ko yung mga binibigay niya kung tinatamba ko lang no. This. So there are two people who sleep here and like three to four more pag sa floor. Okay, Erich, go back to online school. Yes, Set up your list. <laughs> dito siya nagsa school dito pinaka malakas yung signal. Yes, so I've shared with you already. Ito na yun. Okay, but the other place over there, that's the parking. There's like an eight-car parking garage. And our staff house. And our dirty kitchen. So this really is the end of our rest house tour. And I hope you've enjoyed it. I've shared with you something really, really close to our hearts. This is where the children grew up. This is where we have made memories. This is where we we have our family gatherings, mga mahal na araw, New Year's, whatever. But then, I hope that the River Garden will be able to serve you the same way it has served our family over the years. And for those of you who want to also make memories in our home, please go follow us at River Garden Rest House on Instagram and also on Facebook. And you can book and um, reserve and go have your celebrations here. So thank you so much for joining me and see you again next week. Bye!